Okay, now, I hope you've got the basic details of the question down now, like the stuff up in this paragraph. I want you to have a look very, very quickly at A through F, see what it's asking you, and then see if you understand my, um, my concise version of what the question is asking you. Right? Max height, the time for the max height, the new version of x double dot, because remember I said to you, if it turns around, make a whole new change of direction, redefine everything, how fast it's going when it hits, and how does that compare to how fast it was projected? Okay, are you happy with those questions? Yeah? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so, now, let's have a go with this puppy. Now, where would you like me to start to prove this? Like I said, it's not, it's not complicated. Where did I start from the last one? What was the first thing I wrote? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to write, and you should write, f equals ma. Go ahead and write it. It's, um, you, you wouldn't believe when people are doing mechanics questions, um, how many people don't write f equals ma, and then their next line, it's like just some random stuff that uses the numbers and some letters, like some combination of x, v, and a. Uh, if you say f equals ma, you'll save yourself from some very, very basic problems. Okay. So I'm going to say, firstly, f equals, oops, equals ma. But along with that, I need to define what's going on here. Okay? I need to have a scheme that will make this, in particular the signs and all that kind of thing, I need a scheme that makes sense of that. Right? So I need to know a starting point, and I need to know what's up and what's down. Okay? So where would you like me to begin? Draw. Would you like me to call the origin? Okay, all right, let up be positive. And I need an origin. What do you think is a suitable origin for this first bit? Okay, now hold on a second. I can't say x equals zero because x equals zero by definition is the origin. So I need you to tell me what is x equals zero? What would you like to be? Okay, so I think probably the, the ground is fine. I'm gonna call it the point of projection because I might not be on the ground. I could be like up in the air or something like that. So I'm gonna say let up be positive and O be point of projection. That's all you need. Okay, excellent. So now when I say f equals m a, think, have you got the important details in the question? What should I fill into both sides of this? Okay, so one. <coughs> now have a look at what the question is asking you. They've already told you which form of a to use, so I'm going to say x double dot. Okay. Now the forces over here, they're going to be two things, right? There's gravity, which way is it going in our scheme? Yeah. It's negative, okay? And then you've got air resistance. In our scheme, we are traveling up at the moment, right? So which way is air resistance going? Also down, okay? So both are negative. So I'm going to say over here, negative. The first one was gravity, right? Did they define gravity for us or did they just leave it as G? It's just G, okay? So this is 1G, okay? Is that all right? And then there's the other negative thing, air resistance, okay? So it's negative. 0.02, I think? Yeah. No, oh, it's just 0.2. 0.2? No, I think it's 0.2. Yeah? Cool. Okay, so that's fine. So, this this straight substitution, it's a little bit like, see how I put these ones here? When you were asking me, like, but, but isn't that it? Like, isn't that there? And the answer is, no, but ones are hiding there, and we should put them in a similar way to when I say this. Um, if I say this, okay? I know it's a bit trivial to write that as five times one, but I want you to write five times one because I want you to tell me I know what that is. Okay, in the same way as mass just doesn't just disappear, it's a thing in there. So now I will rearrange and I will factor out and that's where the required statements come from. So far so good? Right, part B, find the maximum height. All right, so when you have a look at this, how am I gonna get from here to maximum height? This is part B. Ah, okay, so there's lots of different ways I can go about this. The way I'm thinking about it is I, again, have to choose a form for acceleration. This one's useless to me, okay? It's nice and concise, but doesn't tell me, it doesn't give me a future direction. So I need to choose one of these that will get me to, uh, where is it? The maximum height, okay? So which do you think is, like we've said, maximum height is going to be when... Yes. When velocity is zero, okay? So I'm going to say, I'm actually going to write this, right? Since our goal is related to maximum height, which is actually a velocity goal, right? Is related to velocity. Okay? I'm going to choose 
Okay, so have a look. What do you reckon? Second last one. The last one. The last one. The last one. The last one. Last one. Okay, now here's what I want you to keep in mind. Remember, these are all different ways of saying the same thing. And also, if you can call your mind back to when we did an extension one, these are particularly close together, right? Very, very close together. In fact, look, there's only really one or two lines in between going from one to the other. Okay? Now, if you like, you're welcome to have a go. I mean, there's big reasons to choose this. Look, there's a V squared. So V squared there, right? The way I solved it, I just chose this one. Okay, you'll see both of them will work out. I'm gonna go with V dV on dx. Okay, piece of homework, I guess, if you want to try d half v squared, d half v squared uh, on dx. We'll see what happens. Okay. So over here, I'm gonna write V dV on dx equals. Okay, what would you like me to do now? Slow down, slow down. Okay, so I'm going to get this V over there on the right hand side. Okay, so this is going to be this. Sorry. Uh, where's the other one? Numbers. Um, okay, now what? It's projected at V. I need to integrate, right? Integrate so I need to take your reciprocal. Ring, uh, double ring. <laughs> this uh, I'll leave up here. Got the two that time. Okay, now what am I going to do with this? Where is this going to go? Well, you need like it's going to become a Okay, so this whole thing, by the way, I should point out, is a little bit messy because this is 0 0.02 guy. Yeah, what a joke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through both sides, both, sorry, top and bottom, by 50. That'll get rid of this, because then I don't have to worry about this as a constant of blah, 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 because I can just take that out, okay? So this, dx on dv, is negative 50v on 50g plus v squared. Does that look okay? All right, now I'm almost ready to integrate. I'm just, I'm going to kneel that board space. I'm going to stay over here, okay? This is going to be, what is this? What does this look like? This is f dash on f, almost, right? I need to take out a factor of negative 25. That'll leave me with a 2v and a v squared. So that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to write dx on dv. I'll take out that negative 25. This is my suggestion. And that leaves me with 2v on 50g plus v squared. Does that look good? Now I'm ready to actually integrate. Okay, looking good? What do you think? This is a pretty messy equal sign, so I'll put it here. Yep, so, uh, sorry, x. Okay, so when I've integrated that negative 25, he hangs out over here. Log of what? Yeah, it's negative. Plus a constant? Okay. All right, great question. Now look back at the question. I believe the question tells you an initial velocity, right? In the first sentence, it says, particle mass one kilo projected vertically upwards from the ground with a speed of, and it's pretty hard to see, but they say capital V instead of little v. It's, it's actually hard to, to read the difference, okay? So capital V is my initial velocity. So have a look. When x equals zero, that's at my point of projection, the velocity is capital V, okay? And then there's a constant there. So when this is zero, what will happen? This guy's just gonna come over the other side to give you the constant that you need, right? So I'm gonna say, um, substituting in x equals zero, that's gonna lead me to this. So it's really difficult, because like in the next part, you might mix up the things. Yeah, so, I'm glad you mentioned that. Because the Vs are so easy to mix up, and this actually happens quite frequently, right? I write my Vs really huge and I add a tail onto them, okay? Just so it's, I mean, it's just like saying this, right? It's just so I don't mock up myself, okay? So that's the only reason I put that there, capital V. All right, so remember where I'm going. I'm gonna try and find max height, okay? So what I've got is an expression for, being that this is positive, I'm gonna put it out the front. So 25 log this. 
and take away 25, log that. Okay, so what am I going to do with this to get the maximum play? Let little zero. Okay, great. I'm finding where this velocity, uh, this velocity is zero. Okay, so I'm even going to say max height when there's no velocity. Okay, sorry. You can, but the question said capital. Like capital B equal U. <laughs> <laughs> Just introduce the substitution if you like. Um, the maximum height is when the velocity is zero. So popping that in here, this is called H. I think they call it H, don't they? Yep, the greatest height is H. So my displacement, that's what it's called, is going to be 25 log of this. This is just one big messy constant. What happens to that guy in the end? It's just take away 25 log it's just 50G, right? And you can divide it. it. Yeah, I'm going to factorize out and then I'm going to combine the log. So that gives me with this. What do you think? Looks all right? It's messy, but that's because I don't know. Well, they've, they've asked me to stay with G rather than number. And I also have no idea what this actual initial velocity is. Okay.